okay, the odds of any of us getting sick are so slim. And if we do get sick, like our family's super strong. Go, go, go! You see these things happening on the news. 31 Hoosiers have now died after contracting COVID-19 at long-term care facilities. And you just hope it's not anyone that you know. I'm Aunt Kimmy's niece. I'm Kimmy's sister. Kim is my sister-in-law. I have been a friend of Kim's for 60 years. I am Kim's mother. Tammy Bowman fears her sister could be number 32. In a very short amount of time, her temperature went from 100.7. And when she arrived at the hospital, it was 102.7. Before... Kim got the, the coronavirus. She had struggled with multiple sclerosis many years. The doctor said she has a strong mind and a strong spirit. It's one of the things that impresses me about, about her. So I knew my Aunt Kim was strong, but I, I didn't realize just how strong she was. She would make me feel like I was so special. She was so proud to tell everybody about who I was. And I just felt so honored that my Aunt Kimmy would talk so highly of me. Give me an R! R! <laughs> Wait a minute. Give me an A! A! Just on a regular Give basis, she would just be like, oh, and just get so excited about everything. <laughs> I was able to take her to, I think, her 50th year class reunion just this past year in 2019. It was crazy. She had a line of people waiting to talk to her almost the whole time I was there. I'd always have to ask her about herself and, and try to draw her out because she never complained. Something we can all learn from Kim is to love people and to love life no matter what life is throwing at you she traveled she taught kim has always been such a strong person she had endured some problems that has it over the years health problems for sure and uh, she's always faced it with grace and dignity all kim ever wanted since a very young child was to teach. I spoke with the company that owns the facility and they told me they weren't aware of any positive cases there. But now the state is mandating reporting positive cases and deaths of both residents and employees. For nine days, it was present in the building where she was at at the nursing home before my sister went in the hospital. And even after she went in the hospital, they were saying, that there were no cases in the building when there actually had already been five. I remember my aunt looked at my mom and asked her what, what how she was doing. And my mom said, you know, that I don't lie to you, Kim, and I want to tell you the truth. And Kimmy got very serious. My mom told her what was happening and just how bad off she was. I was so impressed with how everybody got on the phone and just kept the phone on in her room. So there was constant communication to, to Kim during her time in the hospital. My mom and my grandma were only able to visit my um, aunt twice, which is huge because originally we were told only one time. Um, but they were able to visit her twice, but other than that, we had no way of being with her, which just tore us all up inside. I can It's mom. Your friends are all calling. Yeah. You're still resting, girl. Still resting. You know, I just wanted to hold her and have her hold me. He's our good friend. She never stopped fighting. And if you're good, don't put me on the shelf. Hey, that was and good. And I think a big part of that was because she loves us all so much. 
Cam lost her battle against the coronavirus at 5.19 p.m. on April the 16th, 2020. She is sadly missed. What I can learn from Kim is to be strong when things are hard, to don't give up. Kim had MS and she fought it so hard and she did what she could do to, to, to be independent and enjoy life. And it was very difficult for her last six years of having the MS. And then when the coronavirus hit her, she was still strong and still fighting even even through that. And do the things that they love over the phone if you're doing that. We, she, my aunt loves to sing songs, so we sing a lot of songs. A pig is an animal with dirt on its face. For those of you going through your own battle right now, stay connected with, with people, with your friends and family. If you have any inkling that the virus is suspected, don't hide it. We really are all in this together.